Hi, I'm Chrissy Alexander and I'm the Chair of Family Medicine at the Metro Health System in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm also the current president of the FMEC board and I'm a three-time chair of the host committee when we had the meetings in Cleveland, Ohio. I'd like to tell you today a story about one technique that I use to fundraise for the host committee. We have a very good friend of the family who has given philanthropic dollars in the past and was speaking with my husband about giving a donation to uh, my husband's university of which he's an alumni. That got me to thinking a little bit about this individual and what some of his priorities are. Very sadly, he had a daughter who was deeply addicted as part of the opiate crisis. And so I started thinking about what we're doing in family medicine to try and ad address the opiate epidemic and to work on chronic pain management and addictions. And I realized that that would be something that this individual would find very intriguing and would have interest in supporting. So I called him on the phone, we made an appointment to meet, I told him about the meeting and I told him about what we're doing to address the opiate crisis. And he said to me, how does $10,000 sound to support your effort? He offered a total of $10,000 without me even having to ask. As you might imagine, it was a little uncomfortable for me because he was a close friend of the family and I knew of his journey, but in actuality, he felt so good about the opportunity to give to physicians to help them in addressing issues from which his own daughter suffered and he was very, very thankful for the chance. So don't be afraid to think very creatively about the other people in your lives and what they might have interest in supporting. He feels really good about what he was able to do for us and we feel very grateful to him for his efforts.